Aquarius, we're going to look at some energy for uh, you this week. This is Soul, and uh, it's going to be for Aquarius suns, moons, and Aquarius rising signs, singles, couples, and Aquarians who are into same-sex loving energies. Uh, my fellow water bearers, I hope all is well. Uh, this week I'm using the Enchanted uh, Soul Tarot to deliver your messages. These cards here is a new deck for me, and they do have messages at the bottom. So I will read the messages um, from the card that is selected for you, and then also throw in my two cents as well. All right, so, and then also to throw in a uh, blank slate oracle message for you uh, to complement your reading. So let's begin. Uh, let's see what the energy is for you coming up potentially uh, this week. And even though, you know, in the other videos I posted, it's, it's going to run through the 4th of September. So you know what? That's taken us prior to um, Labor Day because I think Labor Day is sep September 5th. So all right, I'll hold off because I'm going to have to set up another um, week of energies for readings. And I'll wish you all a very happy Labor Day, safe Labor Day during that time. All right, so messages for Aquarius. What's going on here for my fellow water bearers, including myself? These are uh, very beautiful cards and they're large too. So three good cuts for you, Aquarius. And then we're going to begin your messages for the week. All right, so we're going to start off with the first card, as we always do. Uh, let's see what opens the energy up for us, and it's the King of Coins. The messages here uh, says mature male, businessman, provider, master, successful, father, reliable, and boss. So this also could be the energy of substantial promotions for some of you out there. Um, definitely significant uh, pay raises. So... I feel that there could be a change of jobs for uh, some of you, uh, greater jobs or greater positions or greater, more money coming in. Um, this could be uh, actually your boss in the workplace environment. So this could be a good week for you guys to ask for, you know, favors from the boss. And also, if you're applying for credit this week, this would be your creditors. It's all favorable. This is a card that is representative of stability, security, long-term energies. All kings and queens, no matter what element shows up, represents all relationships, um, ages and genders. So it could be that there's new formations and uh, business partnerships for some of you. It could be, you know, romantic uh, partnerships. It could be platonic friendship. But in, in any event, whatever is about to occur or open up for you, you can think of it in terms of longevity. Uh, stability and uh, security as well. So I feel that the, for the most part that there could be some sort of improvement of uh, Aquarius's financial situation uh, taking place. Something to do with money being available or money coming through. Uh, this King of Coins here represents Earth energies, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. So at the bottom here, we have your own energy, Seven of Swords. The words here says deception, treachery, lies, enemy within, theft, cheating, sneakiness, and plotting. Well, that's a lot of energy to be working with, <laughs> okay? But I usually say the Seven of Swords for me is the return of someone from your past that you may have had a connection with. And this person is still conflicted, okay? There may be, you know, that type of energy where they communicate with you or trying to communicate with you, but they have nothing new to add to the plate or the table. This could be, a, a you know, a friend that, you know, you became excommunicated with. It could have been an ex-partner, romantic could be a you know a family member that you just stopped talking to because all they did was you know present challenges and stuff in terms of the uh, family relationship that you had with them. But whatever this seven of uh, swords would mean for you, it is here. Also, it could be for those Aquarians who may have uh, forgot where they put something, lost something, whatever. It's a return of that energy. Um, so we have the seven of swords that represents you, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra in the shadow energy. All right, so following the King of uh, Pentacles here, we have the uh, Death card. So the Death card here is Endings, Beginnings, Transition, Transformation, Regeneration, Renewal, and Rebirth. Death card is a major arcana that comes through 
It, I always like the death card because it never physically denotes death. Coming after the king of pentacles, well, that would be a change of jobs or career for some of you, an ending of one job or a career, and then now you're, you know, the rebirth would be the new job or new career. The death card is always the ending of having to close out something that is no longer, you know, resonating for you. And to be honest, since this is a court card, it could be relationships. Maybe it's the ending of a business partnership. Um, I did mention a change of career or ending of a job and then, you know, a new job may be coming uh, forth for you. Um, it could be just, you know, getting rid of clutter, you know, from clearing up your uh, living spaces. It could be your office space, anything that needs to be getting, you know, gotten rid of that you can no longer use. And it's not, you know, doing you any benefits or any good. Only you know that Aquarius. And I know speaking because I'm Aquarius rising that this hits home for me because of the fact that I just was, you know, thinking, uh, not really thinking, I had already started that I have some work to do in my attic and I've been, you know, just um, getting rid of stuff that has been sitting up the air for years. Now it's time for me to clear that space out. It's time to get rid of it. Okay. So that's what I'll be doing this weekend. So whatever this death card may mean for you, then, and you know, like I said before, it's here for you. And it's just an aspect of you having to close out something, get rid of something. It could be clothes that you can no longer wear, but something's got to go, whatever that is. Death card represents Scorpio, the other water signs, Cancer, and Pisces. Following the major arcana of the death card, now we have the Four of Cups. In spite of the messages here at the bottom, because this card showed up for another sign, um, they do say uh, apathetic, disillusioned, antisocial, unmotivated, stagnated, lacking emotional satisfaction, fatigued, and or uh, daydreaming. So this is my social card, no matter what deck I'm using. And so it could be that um, you're just going to be going out socially, uh, putting your emotional energies out there and connections with those people who are close to you or are significant. Could be friends, could be family members, could be romantic partners, but just going out, having a, a grand time socially. Uh, the even number of cups is the energy that you give to that energy uh, to others. And the same energy is going to come back to you. Four of Cups represents Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. This is also uh, double dating. All right, so we follow the Four of Cups with the uh, Temperance card, Major Arcana. And it says here, balance, harmony, calm, serenity, peace, healing, diplomacy, moderation. Well, you know, when I always talk about the Temperance card, it is a relationship card. So again, it could be following the Four of Cups, new relationships that are formed, platonic, romantic. Uh, I see this as, you know, being um, more outdoors, enjoying Mother Nature and uh, God's beauty here. So some of you could be doing that. But whatever the imbalance was for you, the temperance card comes in to say that there's some sort of balance that's going to be restored. Um, and then, you know, this is uh, inner love, inner peace, self-love, your worth, whatever you can think of that is positive comes out of the energy of the temperance card okay and it could be the in the form of healing from some um you know situation that you may have been dealing with temperance represents fire aries leo and sagittarius up next we have the uh, two of cups there we go soulmates attraction companionship feelings uh, partnerships true love and affinity now the two of cups here the flamingos seeing eye to eye with one another being on the same page with one another, sharing the same likes or interests with one another, mutual love and respect for one another. The energy, again, like the Four of Cups, it mirrors the Four of Cups. The energy that you give to another, the same energy is going to come back. The formation of new partnerships, platonic, romantic, uh, comes through with the um, Two of Cups. But it also could be that you're... Um, you know, spending quality time with your family members or, or your friends. Um, this is first dates and first invitations out. So again, it mirrors the Four of Cups. So you could be invited out. Someone could be asking you to hang out. Whatever the situation may be, it's very positive, very favorable. And the Two of Cups here represents Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. The fact that it mirrors the court card, the King of Pentacles, that's a new relationship. It could be business. It could be romantic. Um, also, because it mirrors the Four of Cups again, it could be Aquarius who is... Um, ooh, Okay. 
and here's the relationship card right here in the middle. It could be that there is uh, Aquarius who specifically has an interest in or could be in a relationship with a water sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. All right, so following the Two of Cups here, we have the um, uh, perspective. Okay, so now in perspective, now they threw me for a loop for that. Now, what the hell is the perspective? Oh, shit. Okay, it's perspective, limbo. Okay, that would be the hangman. As soon as I saw limbo, <laughs> as soon as I saw limbo, I knew it was the hangman. So perspective, limbo, sacrifice, letting go, surrender, enlightenment, delays, reflection, and insight. So we have the major arcana, uh, the hangman here. And so it, when it comes to uh, having to make a decision or some sort of choices, um, this hangman shows up here just to let you know that, hey, you know, Aquarius, you got all the time in the world. There's no rush. There's no need to rush into anything, you know, impulsive or anything like that. Take as much time as you need to. And then when you're ready to, um, you know, move along with those decisions or actions, then, you know, this hangman here will be in the reverse position. So things hanging in the balance, sitting on the fence, air suspension, all of that accompanies the hangman. All right, so following the Major Arcana, the perspective or uh, hangman, we have the Two of Wands. So in this instance, this says choices, a fork in the road, decisions, indecisions, uh, pause, uh, timing, planning, taking the first step. So I always feel that you are waiting for something or someone to come along, it could be you just simply waiting for uh, mail, or you just could be waiting for some sort of news. Um, ideals uh, in terms of formation may come to you um, in terms of projects and whatnot. So the number two would represent a relationship. So it could be that there's some sort of slow movement or stagnation uh, related to a relationship. Uh, it, just like the two of cups, it could still signify uh, a coming together. And... Um, one of the things that is key in terms of the words here is the timing. So it may be all about the timing uh, for some of you, especially underneath the death card. That might have a lot to do with whatever it is that you're waiting for or um, wanting to move forward with. Also, it's the taking the first step. So when it comes to uh, anything initial, you know, initializing uh, energies in terms of, uh, you know, a new job, change of career, could be a, a relationship. You know, this card here is saying, you know, take the first step. Be the initiator, not the waiter. All right, so the Two of Wands here represents um, fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And by any chance, if the last three cards here that I draw for you is any of the uh, moving cards, like Six of Wands, Three of Wands, Chariot, Six of Swords, then whatever it is that you're waiting here for is going to jumpstart this energy. All right, so following the Two of Wands, we have the, um, <laughs> shit, <laughs> there you go. The Chariot shows up. Oh, my gosh. The Chariot is the very next card after this Two of Wands. So there's the pickup of anything that was slow moving and not moving fast enough. Think in terms of what's going on with you, Aquarius. Is it a relationship? Is it a project that you were waiting or working on? Is it traveling plans by any chance? The chariot is very positive. So either you're wanting to move something positive in the direction that you want or something positive is uh, moving towards you. Even though I feel that, you know, the uh, character here, if you can see, um, she is facing towards the two of wands. So it's something that's coming positively towards you. Anyway, this um, message at the bottom says victory, success, willpower, Control, forward movement, force, and ambition. The fact that we opened up with the King of Pentacles, someone could be purchasing a new car. Um, someone could be vacationing, you know, someone could be doing uh, some traveling for work related matters. If you are, they say passage to, say passage from. Um, could be having some sort of car repairs, major or minor. Isn't it is ironic that I'm talking about this and um, repairs. I had a fender bender this morning. Everything was taken care of through the other person's insurance. She was at fault and I have a scheduled appointment to have the damage uh, taken care of uh, on September 1st. Wow. Okay, so the chariot is here. Just don't be that Aquarius that gets behind the uh, vehicle. 
the wheel of the vehicle and then you know you're disregarding the speed limit um, because this is still no matter how positive this card and energy is I always pick up moving violations I also equate that with your own energy our own energy the star card hopes wishes and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested so it could be a lot of social networking uh, energy going on underneath the four of cups even more so because you may be extending yourself out through whatever social means that you have and connecting uh, with uh, friends family members could be you know anything related to your work um, but it's all positive okay so anyway following the major arcana the uh, chariot that represents cancer scorpio and pisces we now have oh look at this aquarius the star card follows the chariot all right, so the messages here at the bottom says renewal, hope, inspiration, serenity, calm, wishes, dreams, healing, and miracles. Wow, you can't make this shit up. You got chariot, you got temperance card, you got the uh, star card, your own energy, the two of cups, the death card. So this is going to be for some of you quite a bit of major, major uh, energy, uh, but it's all positive so with the star card which is representing you hopes wishes and dreams like I just said with the chariot coming true or coming to some sort of ma fruition or manifestation um, you know just to throw in that you can meet somebody famous um, this is all about psychic abilities social networking I already just mentioned about social network you know social networking and making those connections through you know alliances through you know friendships romantic partnerships business uh, partnerships and so forth just make sure that you know because of the stars in the universe they're scattered that your energy is not too scattered um, just focusing on one or two things uh, so definitely your energy is here representing Wow, star card, major arcana. The last card for you in this beautiful reading is the four of coins. Uh, yeah, possessiveness, control, selfish, miserably, hoarder, insecurity, frugality, greedy, and rigid. So there could be um, still some aspects of uh, Aquarians who may be just, you know, a little bit concerned or worried about their uh, financial uh, energies, even though you have the very first card that opened your energies up, the King of Pentacles, in terms of improvement of finances. So uh, I wouldn't really pay too much attention to this, but when it comes to um, other energies, it's underneath the Two of Cups, relationships. Remember, the uh, Four of Cups, uh, withholding love and affection towards someone, or someone is holding, withholding that love and affection towards you. Four of Cups could, I'm um, why I keep saying Four of Cups. Four of Pentacles could also be the indication of saving up for something greater. Still could be indicative of a pay raise. All depends on you and what's going on. Okay, so that Four of uh, Pentacles here is representative of Earth energies, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. And this uh, concludes your general reading for the week. It's beautiful. It's only uh, potential e uh, energies that may open up for you and me interpreting the uh, messages. So take out of it what you can and what re you know resonates and leave the rest behind. Let's move on to the blank slate uh, messages for you to complement this glorious energy here that we have received. It's a blessing. Okay, well, this one here just popped out, so that'll be your message. It says, clear any negative energy of, yeah, clear any negative energy around you. Yep, the death card, something's got to go. If it's negative energy, it could be, um, you know, material things, or it could be an actual person. It could be a job or whatever, whatever it is for you. And the shadow energy here is considering starting or expanding your own business. Wow, there you go. And what opened us up? The King of Pentacles. All right, so this is what I have for us, uh, Aquarius. Uh, not too bad. Please give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. Whatever you do, do it well. Be safe. And uh, if nothing else, Aquarius, keep smiling for me, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.